Hello, my name is Lily, and today I'm sharing with you uh, the malware uh, workshop, uh, which I did at GoSAC uh, this year. Um, there are exactly four samples. We're going to start with the first one, which is actually NGRAT. Um, if you extract uh, workshop.zip, it will be the uh, zero dot bin file, which is the first uh, challenge. Um, so we're going to actually have a look and uh, see if we can uh, unpack this. Um, it's at github.com slash lilypad slash malware dash workshop. Uh, you can get all these here. The solutions are provided as well. Uh, in the presentation under docs and uh, index.pdf. So here I have a virtual machine. Uh, I'm going to switch you over here. So here's the virtual machine and I'm going to go ahead and open uh, DNSpy. As well, I'm going to bring in the sample. Mine's named differently, but that's okay. Just going to remove this old one here. Drag and drop the sample into DNSpy. Expand your executable. Go to the first uh, class here. And here, what we're looking for, we do see there is system.reflection, which can include stuff for assembly. And here you notice it's doing some things with this assembly, um, putting, using an array, right? It's doing an entry point, and then here, it's actually going ahead and invoking it. So this looks like our injection point here. And as well, how you know to open um, the sample in DNSpy is if you put this in Detected Easy, it'll tell us it's written in .NET. And interestingly, the entry is quite high at the beginning, but it says it's not packed. But this is actually a false positive. So what I'm going to do here is look at this part. It says it's going to load, right? So let's see what's being passed in be loaded as the assembly that's going to be invoked. So we're going to add a breakpoint here. We're going to hit start. Then we're going to say entry point. Hit OK. Just say yes. Here we're at the entry point. Let's continue to our breakpoint. We're at our breakpoint. We notice there's this passing array. Let's see if we can expand that array and have a look. So it says that there's more items than it's able to be displayed. Um, chances are that's where our payload is. So let's actually save this out. So right click on array that's being passed and save that. I'm going to save that to the desktop. Let's call it dump.bin. Let's now open Detected Easy again and push, put that in there. So it is also in .NET. So that we can use the spot to have a look at that. So we're going to stop debugging. I'm going to drag dump.bin in. And here you can see the executable. So OK.KO okay is what is called first in the main function. And here we can actually see the IP address of the CNC server, the port, as well as the uh, fast patternable data that is sent on each packet. As well, there's more functionalities you can uh, cover like um, 
keyboard logging over here uh, where we're getting keyboard state keyboard layouts um, as well uh, parsing of keys so uh, this here would be our key logger and if you dig into some of the uh, functionalities oh here's camera so uh, it's going to try to get the web camera um, as well uh, many more interesting functions that you can browse here um, and, and see what this does uh, the more you search about this sample you'll actually discover that this is actually a variant of NJRAT. Here we have some uh, CNC behavior. So here it starts with sends data starting with INF, then it sends OK.Y, OK which is that magic value for the CNC I was talking about. So with this you would be able to make uh, signatures for Circata and Snort in order to detect this malware, um, not only just for checking in, but all of its other functionalities. So that's pretty much how we unpack the first sample. The whole idea is to identify um, when something's going to be invoked or uh, started, as well as um, identifying where something's going to be loaded, like a big array, and, and knowing these basic concepts uh, in unpacking malware will allow you to uh, unpack malware faster, more efficiently, and aid you into uh, getting to the reverse engineering step where you can actually go ahead and uh, add detection for um, the samples that you're looking at. Hope you learned something, and thank you very much.